Dear sisters and brothers, this talk is based on the Holy Rosary yesterday, today and tomorrow. It is interesting that I should find the following description about the Holy Rosary in the Wikipedia, a reference site used by uh, millions the world over. It says the Holy Rosary, also known as the Dominican Rosary, refers to a set of prayers used in the Catholic Church. I was so happy and proud to see the phrase Dominican Rosary. The phrase points to the important role that the Dominican Order has been playing in popularizing this devotion. The word Rosary means crown of roses. Our Lady has revealed to several people that each time they say a Hail Mary, they are giving her a beautiful rose and that each complete rosary makes her a crown of roses. The rose is the queen of flowers and so the rosary is the rose of all devotions and it is therefore the most important one. The Holy Rosary is considered a perfect prayer because within it lies the awesome story of our salvation. With the Rosary, in fact, we meditate the mysteries of light, joy, of sorrow and the glory of Jesus and Mary. It's a simple prayer, humble, so much like Mary. It's a prayer we can all say together with her, the Mother of God. Now, dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect on the benefits of saying the Rosary. With the Hail Mary, we invite our Blessed Mother to pray for us. Our Lady always grants our requests. She joins her prayer to ours. Therefore, it becomes ever more useful because what Mary asks, she always receives. She is the most effective intercessor before Jesus. Jesus can never say no to whatever his mother asks for. In every apparition, there have been you know, so many apparitions in different parts of the world. The Heavenly Mother has invited us to say the Rosary as a powerful weapon against evil to bring us true peace. For instance, during her apparition at Fatima, she said, Say the Rosary every day. Pray I pray a lot and offer sacrifices for sinners. I am Our Lady of the Rosary. Only I will be able to help you. In the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. With our prayer made together with our Heavenly Mother, we can obtain the great gift of bringing about a change of hearts and conversion. Each day through prayer we can drive away from ourselves and from our homeland many dangers and many evils. Dear sisters and brothers, now we would like to focus our attention on a brief history of the Rosary. From the time of the early church, there had been existing a devotion similar to today's Rosary. But it was only in the year 1214, however, that, that the Church received the Rosary in its present form and according to the method we use today. It was given to the Church by Saint Dominic Guzman, the founder of the Dominican Order, who had received it from the Blessed Virgin as a means of converting the Albigensians and other sinners. 
Albigensianism was a heresy prevalent in the south of France in St. Dominic's time. Limitation of time does not allow us to go into the full story of how Dominic received this rosary. The full story is found in the very well-known book De Dignitate Solteri by Blessed Alain de La Roche who was a Dominican. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, instructed by the Blessed Virgin as well as by his own experience, Saint Dominic preached the rosary for the rest of his life. He preached it by his example as well as by his sermons in cities and in, in rural areas to people of high station and low before scholars and the uneducated to Catholics and to heretics. The rosary which, we, which he said every day was his preparation for every sermon and his little tryst with Our Lady immediately after preaching. Dear brothers and sisters, all things, even the holiest, are subject to change, especially when they are dependent on human free will. It is hardly to be wondered at then that the confraternity of the Holy Rosary only retained its first favor for a century after it was instituted by St. Dominic. After this it was like a thing buried and forgotten. In 1460, Blessed Alan, one of the Dominican fathers of the monastery at Dinan in Brittany, Brittany in France, revived the confraternity of the Rosary. He was an eminent theologian and a famous preacher. Our Lady chose him because since the confraternity had originally been started in that province, it was fitting that a Dominican from the same province should have the honor of re-establishing the Rosary. The friars of Blessed Dominic propagated this devotion. Sodalities for this form of prayer began to be instituted in many places by the friars. One very important milestone in the spread of the Rosary took place during the pontificate of Pope Pius V, a Dominican. The Battle of Lepanto was won over on October 7, 1571 through the instrumentality of the Rosary recommended by Pope Pius V. The island of Malta was attacked by the Turkish fleet and nearly every man defending the fortress was killed in battle. The Pope sent out a fleet to meet the enemy, requesting that each man on board of the ship pray the rosary and receive Holy Communion. Meanwhile, he called on all of Europe to recite the rosary and ordered a 40-hour devotion in Rome during which time the battle took place. The Christian fleet, vastly outnumbered by the Turks, inflicted an impossible defeat on the Turkish navy, demolishing the entire fleet. This celebrated event in the life of the Church is a great reminder of the power of the Holy Rosary, and that we can turn to our Blessed Mother for all victories, both the temporal and spiritual. In our time, my brothers and sisters, the Rosary can be a, a, an effective spiritual weapon in the fight against the virus pandemic. On September 17, 1569, Pope Pius V issued a papal bull on the Rosary. The bull instituted the essence of the Rosary's present form. The standard 15 decades or 150 Hail Marys. The Pope made it clear that there are two essential elements of the Rosary vocal prayer and mental prayer. With the bull, Pius V also confirmed 
the indulgences and indulgences which his predecessors had granted to those who pray the rosary pious the fifth also established the feast of our lady of the holy rosary on 7th october the day of the victory at lepanto the about two important steps helped in solidifying the powerful prayer tool for the universal church the pious the fifth is known as the pope of the holy rosary saint pope john paul ii on october 16 2002 with the apostolic letter rosarium virginis mariae rosary of the virgin mary on the most holy rosary added five new mysteries of the holy rosary namely the mysteries of light the brothers and sisters unlike in the early middle ages the devotion to the holy rosary is bound to survive along with the holy catholic church the body of christ which will exist till the end of time and the dominicans will be in the forefront of spreading and sustaining the marian devotion of the holy rosary and i would like to uh, recommend all of you to say the rosary meditate on the mysteries of the rosary and through our blessed mother you know come close to uh, jesus may the blessed mother the queen of the holy rosary bless all of you ave maria ave maria ave maria